Hello, my name is Jackson. I'm an educator here at Ripley's Aquarium of Canada, and today I'm going to be talking to you about our weedy sea dragons. Weedy, or common sea dragons, were named after their resemblance to dragons of Chinese legend. You can tell just by visuals alone that they are a close relative to seahorses, as they have a similar bony structure and long snout. They are also both fairly small animals, with our sea dragons only being about 30 centimeters long, and the largest recorded being about 45 centimeters. Sea dragons, like seahorses, can be considered planktivorous, meaning that they eat small, free-floating animals such as zooplankton. They have no teeth, so use a snicking method to feed which is creating suction like a vacuum or straw to suck up their prey. Amazingly, they also have no stomach, so their food passes through extremely quickly. In order to survive, they must constantly eat throughout the day. Weedy sea dragons, like all sea dragons, are found in rocky shallow reefs and seagrass beds along the coast of Australia. They are incredibly slow swimmers and mostly move with the currents. Despite being easy, slow-moving targets, there are no known predators for weedy sea dragons. This is most likely due to their amazing camouflage, as well as the fact that these animals are quite bony and lack nutrition. Weedy sea dragons are very sensitive animals, so it takes a lot of special, particular care to make sure they're comfortable and thriving in their habitat. Our animal care team, called Aquarists, constantly monitor the water's temperature, salinity, and pH. It is vital for our animals' wellness that all these parameters are perfect. Their exhibit's lighting and temperature is meticulously managed to synchronize to Australia's seasonality to ensure that they feel at home, including a dark curtain that surrounds their habitat at night for minimal disturbance, as well as a blue light to resemble the moon. As mentioned earlier, sea dragons need to eat constantly. This exhibit is fed live mysa shrimp throughout the whole day. Another option of live food we have for our animals is brine shrimp. Being a popular meal for all of our filter feeders and planktivores, such as jellyfish, mussels, tube anemones, and of course our seahorses. Sea dragons are in the Cygnathidae family, which includes seahorses and pipefish. These fish are characterized by their slow moving lifestyles and are distinguished from other fish with their long tube like mouths. There are only three known species of sea dragons, the weedy sea dragons, the larger and more famous leafy sea dragons, and the ruby sea dragon, which was only discovered in 2015. Seahorses, being the most famous member of the Cygnathidae family, have 46 different species that can be found in coastal waters all around the world, excluding the Arctic and Antarctic. All seahorses typically stay pretty small. The largest species, the pot-bellied seahorse, can grow up to 35 centimeters long and live up to their name with the males having very round bellies. You can check out the seahorses for yourself right across from our sea dragons exhibit. Seahorses are famously great dads, with the males carrying the eggs in a brood pouch. Sea dragon males will also carry the babies, only instead of a pouch, sea dragons carry their eggs on a part of their tail called a brood patch. The 200 to 300 eggs are attached with a glue-like substance, and once the eggs hatch, it's up to the male to scrape his tail on rocks and kelp to remove the shells. An exceptional characteristic of seahorses is the unique functionality of their tails. They are the only fish to have a prehensile tail. Like a monkey, seahorses can use their tail like a hand, holding on to coral and kelp to help keep them still or protect them during storms. However, sea dragons do not have this ability, which leaves them defenseless during harsher storms. Their shelter plays a significant role in protecting them from strong water currents. The function of sea dragons' leaf-like appendages are especially for camouflage. They don't have a lot of mobility control at all. Weedy and leafy sea dragons may look beautifully unique to us, however, they do blend in extremely well in their native habitat. They are found in coastal rocky reef habitats, where kelp thrives. 
These environments are home to many recognizable animals. Some we have at the aquarium, like our sand tiger sharks, pot-bellied seahorses, and wabagongs, as well as many other iconic ocean animals, including various species of stingrays, pufferfish, giant cuttlefish, and many migrating whales. Kelp is a type of algae, and they are some of the fastest growing living things. They can grow about 60 centimeters a day. Kelp habitats, similar to coral reefs, are important ecosystems that help much of the world's fish species. Many fish, like our sea dragons, can only survive in these ecosystems because they can camouflage seamlessly. And fish aren't the only ones who heavily rely on kelp and rocky reefs. Many species of bird and marine mammals need these environments to find their prey, as these are ideal nurseries for fish. Sea dragons are a very vulnerable and delicate species. They can only exist in very specific conditions. If their environment is disrupted or destroyed, they cannot survive. Because of their unique beauty, weedy sea dragons are a very desirable animal in the exotic pet trade. They are often removed from the wild in unsustainable practices, and the demand grows stress on the wild populations. Due to the delicate nature of these fish, it can be immensely difficult to breed in human care to revive their numbers. At one point, leafy sea dragons faced a similar issue. However, because of the rising concern of overharvesting, there was a complete ban put into place to end their capture and trade. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our majestic sea dragons and their relatives. I hope you learned something new about these phenomenal animals. And I encourage you to swim by the aquarium sometime soon to get to see the dragons for yourself.